guest for today is Mark Reyes, a Filipino film, television, and music video director and film writer. In this episode, he shares the challenges of preparing and putting together Volta's Five Legacy during the pandemic. Hi, Direct Mark. Welcome to Stronger Together, the GMA Pinoy TV podcast. Thank you. Glad to be here. Congratulations on Volta's Five Legacy. How do you feel about the overwhelming reaction of the people who have already watched it? Well, that's the key word. No? I'm overwhelmed. Of course, you hope for the best. But it was one of the biggest risks I took in my career. It's one of the biggest risks that the network also invested in. No one knew how it's going to be accepted or how people react to it. You're dealing with Volta's Five that has been so beloved by generations. So if you don't do it right, there's no way but down or it's going to explode in your face. But when we came up with the mega trailer, I think it's a good indication, not only locally, but globally, when the reaction was coming in. I said, okay, parang may laban tayo, uh, parang magugustuhan. And thankfully, from the cinematic experience to the pilot, we saw that it is being accepted and uh, we're glad that it's rating as well as it is. Naging fan ka ba, Derek, of Volta's Five? Oh yes, oh yes. I don't think I could pull this off if I wasn't a rabid fan to begin with. Growing up, I was really into sci-fi. I was geeky, nerdy. And then Volta's Five was one of the animes that really stuck to my head. I mean, I knew the episode from beginning to until it's cut off. You know, I like Daimos, Wazinger Z, Grandizer, all of those. Pero one that really embedded in my soul was Volta's Five. The thought of putting up a live action came around. I really wanted to give it a shot. And I'm just glad that the stars aligned and I was able to find creatures of like mind and like passion that was able to help me put together Volta's Five. Na pressure ka ba, Dere? Ano yung pressure na dinaanan mo doon and how did you prepare for it? The biggest thing that convinced me to do it was when I saw that Riot can do the CGI back then. I said, okay, that's half the battle. The, mm -hmm. the half is the live action, mm -hmm. which I felt that I could pull off. And then JMA Graphics came in and then all the more I was confident that the other side of the CGI, because Riot handled the robot sequences, mm -hmm. everything else that you see is uh, JMA Video Graphics. The minute we were starting to world build, I felt that, okay, the video graphics, the CGI will be okay. Now I have to work on the live action from the costume to the characters to everything. So that was the biggest pressure. But I think we found the right cast. Obviously, everyone now believes in the cast and they said, ah, okay, now we understand. And then, you know, all the artisans that is involved from the costumes to the sets and then to the cast you know, who believed and I guess my passion rubbed off on them. And then it was easy na at that point. The difficulty was we did this in the pandemic, mm -hmm. during the pandemic. So what was going to be a tough production got even tougher because we had to deal with the pandemic, the lock-ins, you know, people getting sick. I couldn't uh, have little John until alert level one was, you know, put into place and more than on. So, so a lot. Gaano siya katagal ina po? Latter part of 2019 was supposed to start. And then 2020 is when the pandemic hit. But 2019, uh, there were delays already. Mm -hmm. So when January 2020 came in, that was the beginning of the, when everything was stopped. I didn't know when we were going to pursue it. And then it was later down 2021 is that when we actually started. So it was, a year later that we started really working on Voltus 5 and then the pre-production of that was so slow because no shops were open, we couldn't buy materials for the costumes, Cap Big Falcon construction materials came in slowly, so there were no hardware that's open, so mm -hmm. it was really difficult. Buti direct hindi ka na pressure na tapusin or madaliin. That was not in our language, you know, because we had to please Toei, Japan. So if we do anything rushed, tele success here pa lang, the local franchiser will say no to it. And they did a couple of times. So we tried to really push the boundaries as much as we can to really bring the quality world class. And I guess everyone now agrees and sees. Kaya po, inabot ng tatlong taon ng paggawa namin at ginagawa pa rin namin hanggang ngayon, miski kung na kami, mm -hmm. is because, you know, the quality has to be there. And we weren't even aiming for global you know, uh, global audience. We were just aiming for the Filipinos because we knew that they deserve it. How did you working relationship? Ninyo? You'd finish 
scenes and then you will send it for approval. First, the design stage took forever. The script process also took forever. We do something, we send it to Japan, get their approval. And then we started. Once we started rolling, we just sent them because nothing's edited yet. Eh. We sent them footages and then they approve it. And then if there's something that they don't want, we had to change it. We had to make it better. But only this year that they saw edited material. And it was a tele-success that was already approving. Once it passes them, they send it to Japan. If it doesn't pass tele-success, then we don't send it to Japan. I think they already sort of relaxed and let go of the reins the minute they saw the mega trailer and how globally people accepted it. Eh. So medyo nag-relax sila ron, parang okay, kaya nyo na yan. May favorite scene or scenes ka ba sa... What is Five oh, Legacy? That's the worst question you can ask me because there's so <laughs> many scenes that I really like. Of course, when we were doing the launch conveyor sequence, I wanted to shot per shot, almost like the anime as a homage. And then, spoiler alert, the death of Mary Ann. Because people should understand that we did the cockpit sequences of the cast 2021. We did the Camping Falcon 2021, mm -hmm. cockpit sequence 2022, of the Voltus team and then the cockpit sequence of Mary and 2023. But once you see it all together, that whole sequence that we saw in the cinematic experience, it seems seamlessly. Yes, but that's three years apart. So there's so many butterfly return technique. You fly training direct. Yeah. The flight training is my favorite because you know, but what was piping hot in Subic were on the tarmac. They were they had to act like, you know, Top Gun and walk like that. But the minute that they go off camp, too big, too big, too big. Tago tayo sa tago tayo. So it's really difficult. Dami, there's so many difficult days. What is the secret to a show success? Oh, you cannot say there's a secret. Uh, you just hope for the best. Get the right people to do it. Keep your eye on the ball. Have the focus. Have the passion. I guess that's the secret. Because, Derek, you've been in the business for so long. You did TGIS. Encantadia, iba-iba direke and iba-iba yung genre. So, paano mo nakukuha yung kilite ng masses? Given na iba-iba yun, iba-ibang dekada. I guess I'm a sponge. I don't like shut myself off to experiences, to culture. You know, I study culture basically. I study the generations. I study the kids. I study the adults. Uh, once I'm given an assignment, you know, it's just that, okay, I'll do it. I do research. I do as much as I can to study. I have a certain group of people that I go to as reference. You know, I test the waters and see what works. I'm a traveler of the world. You just can't put yourself in a fishbowl and think that you'll know everything. You have to go out there. You have to experience a lot of things. You have to read. You have to watch. And there's always room for improvement. Yes. Too. The minute you stop improving, there lies yours. You, you stop your growth. You stop becoming a good, you know, not even a good director, but a good person. So you have to continuously embrace life, you know, sweet, bitter, salty. Do you still get nervous? Oh yes, I got nervous during the cinema release. That was the acid test. Will they get it? Will they like the quality? You know, because within GMA, it was a common goal. So everyone was supportive, was excited. But, you know, showing it to the public that paid money, they're not there for any reason. They're not your friends. They're not, you know, connected to the network, but they paid money to watch it. I got really nervous when I watched it in public incognito that I, you know, no one knew that the director of the film was there. And when the punchlines came in and when the vault in sequence came in, they were all applauding and then they were laughing at the punchlines and they were cheering on and then they applaud at the end of the film. And I said, okay, mission accomplished. Global Pinoy's watch new and all-time favorite shows on GMA Pinoy TV. Bubble Gang, Fast Talk with Boya Bunda, 24 Horas, Abot Kamay na Pangara, Kapuso Mo, Jessica Soho, and Voltus 5 Legacy, and award-winning news programs, documentaries, lifestyle shows, and many more on GMA Live TV and GMA News TV. GMA Channel are available in the U.S. through various pay TV services. To know more, visit gmapinoytv.com slash subscribe or follow us at GMA Pinoy TV on social media. Mga Global Pinoy subscribers ng GMA Pinoy TV sa U.S., Canada, Singapore, at Hong Kong. You can now watch Kapuso shows on the go. Just download the mobile app of your pay TV provider and enjoy TV everywhere in the U.S. 
Access via Xfinity Stream, Spectrum TV app, Cox Contour app, and Optimum TV app. In Canada via Bell 5 TV, Rogers Ignite TV, and Telus Optic TV. And in Hong Kong via the Now TV app. TV Everywhere is available to existing GMA subscribers only. Contact your pay TV provider or visit gmapinoytv.com slash subscribe to learn more. Welcome back. How does Direct Mark handle setbacks and bashers? And how was his experience with the Missing Husband cast when they went to the UAE? May success direct, merong mga setbacks. Yeah. How do you handle setbacks you learn. and bashers? Ah, well, for setbacks, you just learn from it and move on. You know, that's the only way. You know, don't dwell on it. You study what went wrong, how do I improve next time, and you move forward. With bashers, you know, it's sad that the culture of the Filipino in particular tends to do that. But when you look at it and step back, mm -hmm. because we're in the third world that nothing is that perfect, everyone's miserable, so they find an outlet to, to release their frustrations, their anxieties, mm -hmm. so they bash. With Voltus 5, I knew coming in that people will find ways to bash it because it is so popular, it is so beloved that anything I do that they don't like, they will bash. Anything I do wrong or anything below par, they will bash. But with Voltus 5, there are bashers, mm -hmm. but there are more supporters. Mm -hmm. That the bashers, you know, are drowned out by the supporters. And direct, there's a difference eh, between bashing and constructive criticism. Oh, definitely. It's been noticed by people. No? Mm -hmm. When there was a constructive criticism that they saw in the cinematic release or in, even in the trailers, and then they watch, Uy, binago nila. Uy, inadjust nila. Uy, ganyan. Because we listen. As long as it's constructive. Because sometimes, you know, we're like this already to the material. Okay. We can't sit, Ay, uh. this guy's right. Say, ahabulin ko. Actually, my producer's like, direct! Don't na change it. No, no, no. We have to give it to them. If we can change it, they'll change it. You're still not yet finished with Voltes 5. Post-production, yes. And yet, you are also doing The Missing Husband. Yeah. Paano? Napagsasabay ni Derek? Well, I've always been a multitasker. Like, there was one time in the network, I was doing a soap, I was doing a musical, I was doing a game show at the same time, you know? So it was just a matter of time management and getting the right people to support you. May difference ba ang primetime show sa afternoon drama? In terms of milieu, there is a bit of education. Why it's called a soap opera mm -hmm. is because in the early days, People tend to be in the afternoon soap. People tend to be after eating, they start washing dishes. There must be something on a radio soap opera. It's also because when they start doing laundry or washing dishes, they listen to the drama. In a TV soap, it's the same thing. So they tend to not always look at the TV, but they listen to the drama. So that's uh, the definitive ano, of a soap and afternoon prime and daytime. Mas madaldal ang afternoon prime. But in terms of work, I don't believe that there's a difference between afternoon or... For me, everything is prime time. Mm -hmm. Like, the last time I was in the afternoon soap, I did Half Sisters. You know, and that lasted for four years. Mm -hmm. And then I did prime time, and then now I'm going back to afternoon prime. I pushed the limits. When I got the script and it says it opens in Qatar and in their OFWs, I said, we cannot fake this. I'm going to cheat them and lower my standards. No, so thank you for helping out. You know, thank you for GMA Pinoy TV for helping out for us to be brought here to be able to do, give you quality entertainment that we really didn't fake anything. We really shot in the Middle East to elevate the missing husband. Ano yung feeling, you know, seeing our kababayan in the UAE? And then you've been to the mall show also. I've been blessed to be a part of GMA Pinoy TV roadshows for years. I've been all over America, uh, now Middle East as well. So I know the feeling. So it's nice to reconnect with them. Siyempre, iba yung support nila, iba yung acceptance nila, yung gana nila, because they're missing home. So main objective is to make them feel at home, take out the homesickness for two hours of their time, going to whatever the concert is. So it's a nice feeling always, you know. And then, ibang klase magmahal ang Pinoy eh. If you need any help in any country you're in, look for a Pinoy, they will help you. Once you're in a hotel, you see kababayans working the hotel, you're in. Whatever you want. Mm -hmm. 
they will give it to you. Even the, in the stores, no? Yeah, in the stores. You know, but, oh my God, pag Pinoy, uh, uy, kain pa kayo. Lahat ng sample, uubusin sa'yo, di ba? Yung tama na po, ayoko na, ayoko na. Mm-hmm. So, yung mga ganun. So, uh, as long as you find uh, Pinoy's all over, you know, you're safe and you have a support system even if you're not asking for it. Ano nga abangan nila sa The Missing Husband, direct? Oh, there's a lot. The story itself is so interesting. It's not your typical afternoon drama. It is action, mystery, comedy, you know, and then the production value, as I said, you know, we, we shot scenes here in uh, Dubai, I- here in UAE. The casting is fantastic. The, the chemistry is really nice. It's really working for everyone from Yasmin to Rocco to Joros to, to Sophie and everyone else. Mm-hmm. So, it's a lot of How do you handle difficult artists? Have oh. you handled difficult oh, artists? Yes. Oh, yes. There's a difference between an artist and an artista. Artist is true to his craft, professional, and there's an artista who's there because they want to be the celebrity, they want the stardom, they want the limelight. You know, they act, they give what's given they give what's asked of them but that's it you know and they're more there for the popularity and you know all the trimmings that come with it and then there's the, the artists that will do it for the craft thinking artists which i'm blessed with in the cast of missing husband it's easy to work with the artists with artistas i tend to you know let them have their way at a certain point but if it really becomes a detriment to the program I, i've been in the business even if i look Young, <laughs> I've been in the business. I could know what buttons to push already. Do you appreciate it if the artists tell you what they think and give their opinion on how to tackle the role? Yes, definitely. Making a series or a movie, it takes a village. Mm-hmm. You know, you can be a dictator or a director at a certain level, but you have to learn how to mold something or craft something as a group, as a team. Ano pa ang hindi nagagawa ni Derek? After Voltus 5, I mean, I hit Apex, you know. Star Wars film, of course, that will not happen, no? But ganun na, ganun yung level. After you do Voltus 5, what do you do next, you know? So, something totally off the books. Right now, it's still Voltus 5 that I'm still working on, so I don't wanna think of anything else mm-hmm. as of yet. Tips to aspiring directors? Direct, you know? Especially these days, you don't have to study. You just grab your iPhone and start rolling. You direct. You direct a short film, you direct your TikTok, you direct your travel logs, your vlogs. That's how you start. And message to the global Pinoys all over the world who are supporting you, direct and uh, your projects. Mga kapuso, mula pa lang sa umpisa ng Half Sisters pa lang, meron ng Jimmy Pinoy TV noon, hanggang ngayon sa Voltus 5. At sana po sa Missing Husband, maraming salamat sa support. Ah. Ang sarap ng pakiramdam na nakakuha ko sa Instagram or sa Facebook ng messages na galing po ako sa ganyan, napapanood namin, uh, nakakapag-alis po ng pagod namin dito yung mga show. Sana po pumunta kayo, bumisita kayo, yung mga ganun bagay. Napakalaki pong ano yan. That is the energy uh, supply that us in GMA need to know that we're doing the right thing and then it's not only for the people of the Philippines but especially sa mga kababayan namin na nagtatrabaho at nagpapawis at naghihirap para sa mga pamilya nila sa Pilipinas. This is the only service we could offer you is to entertain you coming home from your long hours of work dealing with so many people. At least nauuwi namin kayo sa Pilipinas miski you know, ka- ka- kaunting oras. Mag-enjoy kayo makapag-vault in kayo sa amin. Thanks, Direct Mark. Again, congratulations, and we wish you more success, Direct. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Stronger Together, the JMA Pinoy TV podcast is an original production of JMA International. This episode is produced by Gerald Vista and edited by Anton Tagidon.